Right. Yep, okay. Here we have another little gardening video. And this one is from the other place. And over here, there's the smoker and we're cooking a chicken in there, which is nice. And in there we've got some chickens, which lay eggs, which is really brilliant. But what we're here to talk about is, hold on, it's just gonna go a bit funny, right? Is this fella, okay? So if you've watched the other video, I got hold of some quite rare, or yeah, reasonably rare, Romanesco courgette zucchini seeds. Now this is actually a squash. And I've got to read this, hold on. I've got to read this because I wrote it down. Because, right. Any Italians watching, don't make fun of the accent here. But this is a Zucca Lunga da Pergola, which is a Sicilian snake pergola long squash. And we seem to be having the same really interesting stuff with this that we had with the other one. So let's try and get a close up on what we think is probably a male bud. So let's see, I'm gonna point, oh, that's not really, there, yeah, that one. Okay, he's quite low. He's got this weird little bulb and this flower has gone over, okay. Now, I'm fairly sure that the females, which of course are the ones that are going to have the fruit, have got this weird guy. And we've got this little kind of fattening in the stalk, and it's longer. So here we go. Male, it's just a kind of a nub. Yeah. Female, it's more of a fat worm, if you like. Right? White flowers, not yellow flowers. And what's really interesting is these come out incredibly quickly in the evening. These two, that flower and that flower, have both come out in the last hour. They were, they were, um, I haven't got one here. They were, they're a bit more like that one, even tighter than that one. Literally an hour and a half ago. And now they're in full flower. Now, if she'll just let us have a look. Okay. So that's what she's looking like inside. Okay, white flower. This one's a male, I think. And he's looking very similar, so I could be wrong there. That might not be a male. But, <clears throat> right. Apparently, these squash grow, they only get about two, three inches thick but they can grow up to a yard long. And here, and again, it's kind of difficult to see, but there we go, that one. That flowered yesterday, I think. And I think, well, I tried to pollinate it by hand. I want the dogs come to say hello. I tried to pollinate it by hand, and I think it's set because it's getting fatter. So you see where it curls round? The whole curly bit and a bit with the flower on the end is, I'm fairly sure, the squash. <coughs> So this is the chap, Sicilian snake pergola long squash, apparently grown on pergolas and they'll crash down, you know, they'll hang down and grow really long and straight. If you let them go on the ground, they'll curl up like a snake. No idea what these taste like because nothing's been done with them yet. Now I would say these are really good for kids to grow and that's a really annoying thing to say because I think that any plants are good for kids to grow. But what's really nice about these is that their leaves are incredibly soft and velvety and they don't have that amazing spike that cucumbers and other squashes have. Here we've got one of the other squashes and this, this fellow is, he's scratchy. <clears throat> so a little tiny person could grow this squash, come along, touch the leaves, play with the leaves and not get sore fingers. So there we go, that's the pergola squash, and we're hoping that they're gonna be nice to eat as well as fun to grow. But it is an incredibly cool plant, and we'll see. Oh, and then one final thing is I think, and again, as always, you know, look it up yourself, I've got a feeling that these are late evening and night flowering because they're to attract night pollinators. So I wouldn't be surprised if I came out here with a torch later 
I'd find all sorts of little night insects on them, maybe moths and people like that, who aren't around so much in the day. A bit like the evening primrose, which is over there. And we've also got some fennel here. But anyway, today's is about this one, the pergola squash. I'm going to do a follow-up when, if, we actually get a squash. Here we go. There I think we've got another squash coming. That's not looking like the male. This is definitely looking like the male. Long stick, flower on the end, male. Short stick, bendy fatter bit at the end, probably a female. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that. And like I say, keep an eye out for the follow up and we'll tell you what they taste like. Cool, excellent.